Okay, so we're going to um, configure our Windows environment for proper network um, testing to ensure that Windows is actually set up properly inside of VirtualBox. The Windows that I have set up for you already in Azure have the correct settings. So this is just for those of you who wish to run it locally. Okay. Now, there's a couple of things that we need to validate ahead of time. First off, if you have two network adapters for your Windows machine, and I understand that this isn't running Flare yet, but for demonstration purposes, it should be fine. When I click on Network, I should have two adapters or one adapter. If I have two adapters, ensure the adapter that is attached to NAT is disconnected. If I only have one adapter, and this is fine, you can only have one adapter and keep switching its role. You can initially set it up so that it's not connected. Then you can connect that adapter to the NAT or switch the adapter type to NAT, install Flare, and then switch it back to host only. I don't care. Most people find it easier to have two adapters. Whatever the case is, after you have Flare set up, if you have a NAT adapter, the cable must be unplugged, all right? The checkbox must be cleared for the NAT adapter. It is okay if your Windows machine is connected to your host-only adapter, okay? So that's the first thing you need to take into account for your environment. The second is, is that if you're going to configure Windows to talk properly to Remnux, you have to either understand the setup or set up Remnux the way you want, okay? There's two choices for this. First is that you just use the DHCP address. It probably won't change and it'll probably be fine. But in the real world, you want to set up your ads to be static so that you don't have to change any of your settings in Windows. And that's what I'm going to recommend that you do. Now, there is a network configuration up here, but it doesn't work the way it's supposed to. And I'm assuming that has something to do with Remnix. Also, it's no longer using the ETC network interfaces file. The file that we need to modify is ETC NETP for NetPlan and then just hit tab. And there should only really be one file, the o1netconfig.yaml file. Now again, understand your environment. ENP0S8 is the adapter we are going to configure to use a static IP. If we are going to use a static IP, you have to know where your static IPs start. If I go to my host network manager and I check out my DHCP server, my server address starts at 100, or sorry, 101. That's where the DHCP allocation starts. And of course, the DHCP server itself is 100. So that means anything under 100 is available for static. So just grab one of those static IPs. I'm going to grab 25. You should know your environment, OK? So I'm going to set this to this machine here to 192.168.56.5, for example. Okay, so I need to go down to where it says DHCP4, and I need to change that to no. And once I've done that, line up your, ta your spacing. Address, addresses, and it is square bracket 192.168.56.5. It's on the slash 24 network. So you don't have to specify a net mask. You can just specify the net mask as part of the address uh, identification. You do not need to specify a gateway address. The gateway addressing is taken care of with adapter one. So you don't need to specify it here. Control O to save the file. And of course, it won't let me do that. So let's do this again. Okay, sudo bang bang and again how did i do this 
change the yes to no, space over to addresses, and square bracket 192.168.56.25 slash 24 for the net mask or the network size. And then control O, control O, write out yes, and then control X. And at this point, you really want to test this. So what I would do is I would restart, power off and restart my Remnux virtual machine. Verify the IP address. Now, the, t the machine address on my host-only network for Remnux is 192.168.56.25 and, of course, the slash 24 network. Perfect. Now that Remnux is set up, or now that I understand what my Remnux IP is, I can go into Flare and set up my network here. Hit the start button and type in control panel. This is the way that I've always done it. It seems to work the best for me. Select network and internet. Um, select network and sharing center. And in network and sharing center, you can select change adapter settings. And it brings up this setting here. Now, if you've got two adapters, you've got two adapters here. If you have set up Flare VM, chances are you've got a third adapter talking about the NPCAP adapter. Again, I don't have Flare set up, but that doesn't really matter. Um, what matters is, is that you understand, as always, your environment. Okay? So, if you have flare set up, you are probably going to have a third adapter here, which just talks about NP cap. If you've only got one adapter set up through VirtualBox, and you're switching it between the NAT and host only on the one adapter, then obviously you're only going to have the one adapter here. Okay. Regardless, understand your environment. I understand, based on my settings, for my network that adapter one is for my NAT adapter and it is unplugged. So it makes sense that the network cable unplug message appears for it. I understand adapter two is my host only adapter. That's the one I want to modify. Click on the appropriate adapter and select properties. And the property we want to set is the internet protocol version four or IPv4. Click on that option. Do not clear the checkbox. You want that enabled and select properties. And you want to set a static IP. You have to set a static IP because now that this is running um, internally, I mean, you. I guess technically speaking, you don't have to set a static IP as long as you set the DNS information properly. But the problem is, is that if you use the IP dynamically, it'll use the wrong gateway address here. By setting an IP address statically, and the other one was 25, so I'm just going to set this one to 26. 192.168.56.25. And I'm going to set the gateway to 192.168.56.25. And that is where it's tricky. And this is why we need to set a static IP. Because I want to send all traffic, not onto the NAT, a uh, correction, not onto the host only network. I want to send all traffic to Remnux specifically. And by making Remnux the gateway address, all traffic will go to Remnux. Okay, same with DNS requests. We've already seen this in our initial uh, BRB bot attack. We want 
the DNS server to also be the gateway address, 192.168.56.25. And again, as we can see over here, that is the address of the host-only adapter in Remnux. Select a different address for Windows for your Flare VM, but ensure that the gateway address and the DNS server address are the same IP as whatever you have set or whatever has been set for you in Remnux. I recommend you set it yourself and then make sure that they match over here. So now when you click on OK and close, it should update the network settings right away. So one of the first things you can do, oh yeah, I should have, it pops up with that. Um, you can just click away and not even worry about it. I should have addressed that, sorry, because it's a new network setting. Go and CMD and then NS lookup google.ca and it should try going to the address. Perfect. And it doesn't work because we don't have a DNS server running. If we go into Remnux, as we saw in class, and type in fake DNS, again, it's taking it on the host-only adapter. So I'm going to IP. So if we have um, run fake DNS, and it tries to work off of our NAT adapter. We can try disabling the NAT adapter, but it's easy just to turn off the adapter itself with the IP command. So IP link set ENP0 S3 down. Set device, sorry. Set DEV ENP0 S3 down. Pseudo bang bang okay IP adder my ENP 0s3 is down I can now do fake DNS it is running the fake DNS service on my host only adapter if I come over here and try and look up google.ca it resolves to the correct IP address. So that's the sanity check after you have set up. Again, what did I do? I did a modification, and you can use VI. I know you're learning VI through Brad, so you should probably do this in VI. Um, not CD ETC network interfaces, it's net plan, and then 01 netcfg.yaml. Tab is your friend, okay? We change the adapter from yes to no, and then we specify addresses. We give it an address to use. By understanding your host network environment, that your addressing probably starts at 100, you can give it, or I should say 101, you can give it any address below 100 and you should be okay. I gave it 56.25 with a slash 24 to define the network size or the net, max, net mask. When I did that, I rebooted I rebooted and I got this configuration. Now, the problem is is that both NAT and my host only network get IPs so that but the important thing right now is that I have an IP address set for my host-only adapter. Once I know that, I can go into Windows, I can launch Control Panel. In the Control Panel, you can click on Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center, or you know what, if you want, another trick that I like to use is rather than by category, I go by larger small icons, and then I just select Network and Sharing Settings, a center, I should say. And then it gets you to the same place. Change Adapter Settings is really what you want. You need to understand your environment. This is the adapter I'm using for my host-only environment. You may have a third adapter for the NP cap that uh, Flare uses, but understand your environment. Go into the Properties, select IPv4, 
select properties. It was DNS or yeah, DHCP before, and DNS is part of DHCP. Set it to static. Set the next IP address that you set after this one. That's the easiest. But ensure that the gateway and the DNS server are the same address as Remnux. That way all traffic will go through Remnux and it'll be easier for our diagnostics of our malware. Once you've set that, click on OK, fire up fake DNS, realizing that it's using the wrong adapter, stop that and turn off the adapter that it's trying to use. It's trying to use the NAT adapter, which is ENP0S3. So I'm saying sudo IP link set the device ENP0S3 down so that when I fake DNS now, it's using the correct adapter. I can then check back in Flare and I can do an NS lookup of anything I want. Google.com. And it redirects all Google.com traffic to my Remnux VM.